everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Money Monster. So, Money Monster is directed by Jodie Foster. The film stars George Clooney, Julia Roberts, and Jack O'Connell. And Money Monster is about when Jack O'Connell, who plays this investor, he holds George Clooney, who plays this financial TV host, and everyone else in the studio hostage because Jack O'Connell believes that George Clooney is very responsible for what happened because George Clooney gives some financial advice on air and so it's up to Julia Roberts to make sure George Clooney is calm during this whole situation along with getting some help so that way Jack O'Connell can get what he wants and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I didn't really have any expectations going into Money Monster because I didn't see the trailer for this film and I went ahead and just skipped the trailer because I heard a lot of people saying that the trailer showed everything. All I knew going into this movie was that it starred George Clooney, Julia Roberts, and Jack O'Connell. It's directed by Jodie Foster, and I know that it's a hostage movie. So I knew three things going into Money Monster, and coming from someone that hasn't seen the trailer, I have to say, this movie was seriously awesome. Now, of course, first thing is the script. This movie is clever, it's fun, it's suspenseful. The script has all the ingredients you need for a hostage movie, and it absolutely works. It's a very well-written movie that, while having suspenseful moments, also does have its blend of comedic moments. That's the thing I really enjoyed about Money Monster, the fact that this movie actually blends some comedic moments along with it. And that was really cool. It has a really great sense of humor that I honestly really appreciated. Jodie Foster does a great job directing this movie. She has a lot of very interesting shots while you're in this situation with all these characters. And I'm just so invested during the running time of this movie because of how Jodie Foster directed this movie. She did a really great job. Her direction was very sharp and smooth. And I thought the performances were actually very good, especially from Julia Roberts, who plays this producer that tells George Clooney how to handle things, like what to say on TV. And while George Clooney is on air being held hostage, she has to tell George Clooney all of these things just to calm down. And man, the Julia Roberts, she really killed it in this movie. I was really impressed with her. I mean, she's a great actress so it shouldn't really be a surprise but I thought she did a very great job here and then you have George Clooney who also does a very great job it's nice to see him have fun in this movie because especially in the beginning when you watch the beginning of this movie him playing this financial TV host he likes to be goofy and fun and he does these silly bits like him dancing or him wearing these boxing gloves but then you know when his character does get serious it is really great he does a great job of showing both his comedic side and his dramatic side in this film. Then as for Jack O'Connell, who has really impressed me in Unbroken and 71, which I actually just saw very recently, he's been impressive. I thought he did a really great job in this movie playing this investor, and even though he's holding all of these people hostage, as the movie progresses, you can see that he's not really a bad guy he's just more of a desperate guy that's the best way to honestly describe him without going into too many details the cinematography is gorgeous in this movie it's very well shot and then, like i said the movie is just very suspenseful i was actually at the edge of my seat with money monster i was like man this movie is really intriguing me because it really is such a well-written movie and it just built on suspense tension and like I said it'll even add comedy bits to make the movie honestly very fun and I was also really impressed that the film also made social commentary about the media like how people use media just how the media works in general and as far as pacing goes I was never bored watching Money Monster I only have a few flaws with Money Monster and one of those flaws is that this actress that plays this character named Diane Lester who is a corporate I thought her character was very uninteresting, honestly, and whenever the movie did cut to her, I was kind of hoping it would cut to any other scene. I would even ask for the movie to honestly cut to the cops because even the cops I found more interesting than this character. Not that I was bored or anything, but I just didn't really 
care for this character. Also, there's a few times where the comedy bits did feel a little out of place, just in a few spots. Bots, however. And the last problem I did have is that towards the end, I did feel like the movie was going in a more predictable side. There were times where I wasn't sure where the movie was going, and then as it gets towards the end, I can honestly see where they were going towards the end of the movie. And overall, you guys, I was pleasantly surprised by Money Monster. I was really entertained. This is a suspenseful thrill ride of a movie that is so well written. It's a clever movie that just has great writing to it. Great direction by Jodie Foster. You know, the performances from George Clooney, Julia Roberts, Jack O'Connell, just so great in this film. There's nothing more I can really say I've said everything I needed to say honestly Money Monster is an entertaining and suspenseful thrill ride from beginning to end and I am going to give Money Monster three and a half out of four stars so you guys in the comments down below let me know what you think about Money Monster this is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power